Namaste goddesses. Welcome to another episode of Planet Aphrodite with me now. Today is a very, very special day. Today, we, today is our 21st episode. Isn't it amazing that today is 21st episode? It seems like we just started. And this month, the month of July, is dedicated to self-love in much deeper way. So we will go deep in this month. So are you ready? Are you ready, ready to be with me and with yourself and explore this journey of self-love together? So what we will do is we will become a little conscious about what we are, what we think, what we do. So when I talk to people, people largely believe, and I also be, used to believe that I love myself a lot. So imagine there is a couple and the, the guy is, uh, is physically abusive, okay? All the marks, all the bruises are seen. So that's a sign to the person and to everybody else that there is a physical harm done by one person on another. Having said that, do you realize that there are people who do self-harm many, many, many times? unconsciously. So at subconscious level, we tend to hurt ourselves. We tend to get hurt by furniture. We tend to get, we tend to fall out of nowhere. We tend to slip out of nowhere. We tend to uh, bruise ourselves. So, you know, we, we tend to cut ourselves and especially when cooking, many women get bruises, you know, the burns. And it is said that more often than not, all these bruises, the physical abuse signs are not coming from an accident or uh, if it's a one-off case, of course, if it's possible that you burned yourself while cooking, while doing anything. But if it's a regular feature that you tend to uh, tend to hurt yourself while walking out of nowhere, the wall appears out of nowhere, the table appears, or you know, so you were just walking, but somehow the bed knows or the door knows that uh, you are there and they hurt you. So I invite you to ask this question to yourself. Is there anything that you feel guilty about or you want to punish yourself? Or is there anything that your subconscious wants to bring your attention? It's more like a small child who will come and show every smallest bruise or hurt to you so that you can give her a kiss or touch it or apply a band-aid so that you show some extra maternal love to that child. Just like that, many a times we tend to hurt ourselves because that is how we know. Like if we get the smallest of hurt, there is somebody who will love us, who will touch us, who will kiss us, who will hug us, who will say it's all be going to be all right. So it is a pattern which, but many people, including Princess Diana, used to suffer from this. And, um, you know, she would tend to hurt herself a lot, not consciously many a times, maybe all the time she was never doing it consciously, but at unconscious level. And I have been there. I used to, you know, wall used to walk up to me and, you know, <laughs> I would fall and I would hurt myself. So uh, this may appear very harmless to many women. Uh, because we don't give it a thought that, uh, oh, we were cooking, we were busy, we were, uh, we were doing this or that. And uh, if, if you see the chefs in hotel, uh, they rarely have a bruise. Let me break it for you. They don't burn themselves. Really, they don't burn themselves. They do their job with 100% focus and they are really pressed for time. 
So I just want you to explore this, like any part of your body, any bruise, any hurt, any physical, we'll come to the mental part later, emotional part later, but it's something seeing. And it's like if a child goes to her mama and the mama say, does not even notice. The child feels rejected, the child feels abandoned, the child feels hurt, the child doesn't feel loved by her own mother. So is that the response you are giving to yourself? I just want you to explore this this week. And just be aware about it. You do not have to do anything. But just are you listening to your own self? Are you listening to your body? Are you listening to your inner child? So that is the question I would like you to explore this week. And uh, a few weeks back, we had uh, Rajaita Sharma Roy on our episode. She had offered a gift, a beautiful big book, Who is Revati Roy? And uh, the winner of uh, the book is S. Kavya uh, from YouTube. So congratulations, S. Kavya. And uh, we will connect online on email. And let us know where can we send you the book. So congratulations for that. And keep watching Planet Aphrodite. So what is, how is this episode? This episode is just about awareness, about mindfulness. And it's a very, very small thing as it may appear, but I know of women who keep hurting themselves for not once, not weeks, not months maybe for years, you know, uh, pulling your lips, biting your lips, you know, chewing the dead skin of the skin or, you know, at any subconscious habit that you have, which is hurting you physically, that is a very, very loud sound. And even then, if you don't listen to your body, it would feel very abandoned, rejected, unloved, uncared for, just like that small baby who goes to her mother. So do like, comment, and subscribe on this. Let me know that what are you doing? Are, have you found uh, the furniture hurting you or the wall hurting you or anything like that? Or you used to do that, but now you do, don't, don't do that anymore. Like I was there and I'm not there anymore. So I, I know it happens. And it was very, very much real for me. It, it was the furniture. It was always the table. It was always the knife. It was always something, you know, it, it was never me. So I want you to explore that and uh, stay safe, stay healthy. And uh, I would look forward to hear more interaction from you. I would like to hear from you and your views on self-love. How do you do it? Uh, have you found it yet? Are you living it? See you next week on another episode of Planet Aphrodite with me now. Till then, love yourself a little more because self-love can cause miracles. Namaste.